the world wasn't very easy to live in earlier as well. I mean, even before the pandemic happened, it wasn't a very happy place to live in. It was volatile. It was complex and it was uncertain. All of those things were happening. But this uh, present situation is actually different in a few ways. And I just want to talk about those differences here. Firstly, R in the RAP stands for rapid. This was the 8th of March when this uh, pandemic seemed to be at the other end of the world, which is so far away. I mean, if you read this small news item that you know 50 people have died of pneumonia in some unknown island, and it, it seemed that far away. And that was the 8th of March. And you know, in less than two weeks' time after that, how it pretty much locked down every uh, individual. Uh, many, many of the individuals were completely locked down because of that. The second, uh, of course, you remain so uncertain. It was always uncertain earlier. It's uncertain even now. But uh, in, in many ways, the situation has now become paradoxical. What did that mean? In, in good old days, the decisions used to be between a right and a wrong. You, you, you could take a decision between one right and one wrong. And worst case scenario, you had a decision which was between one right and another right. Now, most of the decisions that we have to take is between one wrong and another wrong. A classic example is the lockdown. If you do a lockdown, it prevents the spread of the disease, but it also creates a huge problem in terms of migrant labor and starvation and food crop. And so every decision that you take seems to have a second order and a third order and a fourth order implication. So it's almost like you think that I will do this to solve this problem, but the solution creates a problem which is much bigger than the solution. And that is the nature of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the environment as we go ahead. And the last piece is, of course, Tangle. If you have to have communication, you need these uh, towers. They're more than three like mobile towers. They need to be serviced. Somebody has to climb them, uh, climb on top of them, change the radio routers, replace the modems, uh, refill the diesel. And that has to be done by people who have to then you know, be allowed uh, essential services passes. So these are young engineers. Many are uh, like yourself, maybe not from the same uh, prestigious kind of universities, but they are like yourself who have just got their graduation. They got a degree and now they are basically going around servicing. But they don't have places to stay because the hostels where they stay, the restaurant from where they eat, all of that has been closed. So suddenly you realize life doesn't operate in green, uh, orange and yellow. Uh, uh, life is tangled. There is no such thing as uh, uh, a green zone in life because every zone goes through each other. So it is a very tangled kind of a situation. So these are uh, nuances which are uh, very peculiar to uh, the situation we are in right now. I hadn't heard of a company called Zoom, which is currently valued more than the top seven airlines put together. And of course, the airlines valuation is also going down. So probably it'll be more than that by several times now. And WeWork, an organization which everyone talked about, and especially which was a favorite among uh, entrepreneurs, uh, they, they had it in their dictionary that as soon as they graduate from their colleges or B schools, they'll go to a WeWork and set up their first startup and stuff like that. Billion dollar, billion dollar dreams. That one, uh, that company dropped in value, uh, became less than uh, one third in, in a matter of a uh, couple of months. 100 companies who have benefited extraordinarily because of the pandemic. So, not because of the companies per se, I and mean, that's not the reason why you should read that, but you should read it to see how an entirely new genre of uh, uh, opportunities is coming up. And that's one of the great things about a paradigm shift, that whenever paradigm shifts take place, whenever there is, a, there is an environment of chaos around us, that is the time that innovation actually is the maximum. This is also an era of the maximum innovation and enterprise. Most inventions that we are used to right now in terms of technology, rocket, space, um, uh, computers, internet, they all originated uh, during the Second World War. It was during chaos and during conflict that uh, most of the innovation is required and asked for because many things change. People's acceptance of technology changes. Like, for example, there are millions of people all over the world right now who were earlier very, very wary of using the internet to buy stuff, even though they could buy it. They had the credit card, they had the internet access, but they were not comfortable thought, how can I buy a shirt without actually wearing it and checking it out? Millions of those people have now been forced to uh, adopt internet uh, um, online transactions and all, and they're not going to go back. They're not going to go back simply because now you can go back to a mall because this individual who has now realized the convenience of uh, online behavior. So many, many fundamental changes will take place. And that is why it's a great opportunity. Uh, it's a great um, sort of occasion to be uh, a person who is beginning their career.